I'm I'm more cur- I'm just curious like you can go first. Yeah, I mean I I think the best way to go about it is like the premise of I want to make sure that I understand the premise of your of your post. Like the more that I I looked at it and I'm like no, some of the stuff makes sense. Like I understand the comparison to the app right. as a in comparison to songwriters and people that record music, but then I mean everyone on that thread took it like so you don't think that people that create music should get paid. So maybe, I don't know, you know how it is. Like you type something out and people can look at it and yeah, translate it the own, their own way in their head. So I figured, I think I, I want to understand more. It's, it'll be a lot easier for you to explain it to me like this to where my mind doesn't wander. No well, one's mind will wander. I put it, right, I put it up there in a way that would provoke people. A, just because I'm kind of having a bad day, you know? <laughs> I got like my teeth pulled a while ago yeah. and I'm just being a dick. To be perfectly honest, I'm just being a dick. But there, I do have some points in there. Just that, you know, artists, I said in the post that uh, streaming platforms outnumber artists like 10 to 1 which I meant to say that all app developers, and this isn't something I know, no, but sure. artists outnumber everybody. You know, it just even if you just do it as a hobby, art is the most universal thing on the world. Their artists are going to outnumber everybody that does anything else, in my opinion. I could be wrong about that. No, because, I mean, especially but, when you talk about just artists in general i mean just even people that sit up in their bedrooms and put out music and i mean i guess let me let me actually pull it up so i don't want to like misquote anything that you said <laughs> i love I, by the way i love the fact that you're like i'm just trying to like <laughs> stir shit up i i i love that because that's <laughs> i do that a lot yeah. on my page i mean i but i do it i do it in a, in a different way yeah. i do things just to just to get people that have a conversation, you know, the part that I think ev- this is the part that everyone's losing their mind on. You said, let me just take this opportunity to say that if you actually think that your artwork is deserving of paper money, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, so- man, I don't actually think not worthy of paper money, right? It's just going to be worth a lot less paper money than everything else because it's not a commodity anymore it's an easy thing to do i mean i might be being arrogant when i say that like Mm. i'll be up front with you man i'm a pretty good musician in my own eyes my big flaw is that i don't know how to record Mm. all my recordings sound like shit Mm -hmm. but i know how to make music you know if i can sit there and make it in my own living room by myself and i'm just your average joe it's not worth that much you know well see that's where and uh but if you look at if you look at there's a lot of albums that are made in bedrooms i mean whether you're a fan of her or not like the billy eilish album was made in a, in a bedroom and that is a commodity uh-huh. like there are there are people that are buying that i think i think if i can paraphrase what you're saying is just because you record something or put it out doesn't mean that it automatically has value like you have to be putting out something that people actually want you can't, I, and I've run into this a lot with musicians that bitch. They're like, yes. oh, well, you know, I put out music and I'm not mm-hmm. making any money on it. It's like, well, is it good? Is it good enough? Do you, are you, are you catering to any sort of demographic? Is it are good? You, do you know yeah. Is it good? So I think that's where I think yeah. just saying a blanket that, the, that it's not a commodity, I don't agree with. I think that the majority of it isn't. It's just that people need to focus right, right. on, on well, what makes. Well, your audience decides if it's a commodity. Sure. 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 So I think, yeah. Now yeah. So, something that I do agree with, like I didn't get in to music. Well, until I started playing in like the cover scene, that's when I, that's where it's like, that's about money. Like that's obviously I enjoy playing, but that's mm-hmm. part of my job. Whereas mm-hmm. all the original projects I do, I've never once expected a fucking sense from any of it. Cause it's not, it's just, it's, it's not realistic to right. think, Oh, well, I'm going to, I mean, there's, there's bands that are selling millions of albums and have tens of millions of streams that are like on unemployment. Like just cause you're doing all that doesn't mean you're making money. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, this is, this, it's crazy. Well, you know, yeah. I figured it would set people off, you know, there's, so I have an idea in my head, right? It's kind of like a utopian idea, I guess. 
of, and I know it sounds like it might sound good on paper and then translate horribly into reality, but so we're looking at illegal streaming becoming a felony now, and like, I don't know much about it at all. I just saw it in the news, and the dots that I connect are basically like that it might have been born out of the seed of this attitude that your art shouldn't be free, right? I know that it, it in reality, it's more to do with politicians silencing each other than anything else. But mm. um, I just have this vision of like this utopian world where nobody makes money off of uh, art, you know, where the only reason that you do it is to do it because it feels good and it makes other people feel good. And that's just your reward. Sure. You know, like look at rap music today. Look at a lot of music today. Just what money has done to it. Like, like, um, it just, it just don't look good to me. And I ask a lot of people, I like, I get into this conversation a lot and people will be like, well, then why would they do it if they didn't make any money off of it? And just the fact that they would have to ask that question just tells me that you should do something else. Yeah. You should do something else that you enjoy doing, but it wouldn't be the end of the world if you didn't get paid for it, you know? Yeah, no. And I, uh, that would be in that utopian world, that would be great, but that would need to apply to everything. So if you're a carpenter, if you're an electrician, if you mm-hmm. are whatever, yeah. it should just be, everybody just does what they do and has everything accessible, everything else accessible to them. And, but I agree. I mean, that's yeah. part of the There's reason. A really... Keep going. Okay. Well, one of, one of the people got on there on my post and was like sarcastic about it. They said something like, yeah, we should only pay for potatoes. You know, if it's not necessary for survival, we shouldn't be paying for it. And I can see where it'd be really easy to take my point and drag it all the way over there into nobody paying for anything that's not for your survival. Mm-hmm. But really, like the place I go in my head, like I'm one of those people that I kind of fantasize and um, I look at like the Native American times through a really rosy lens, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like they they took care of the world better, all that. I don't know, but when it came down to music for them, who was probably selling music or even bartering for music back then, you know? There was shit like drum circles and, you know? Yeah. Just it felt like there would be more unity in that, you know? Yeah. I mean, that, and I'm it, somebody like, like I buy CDs, and I buy merch, you know, like I, I really just said this to, I really just said this to weed out the people who can't read a post like that and freak the fuck out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I, 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 I 100% Fucking, appreciate like I, that. Yeah. And my, th- my thing is, is that, if you if you come into if you if you start your journey not expecting anything, I'm gonna be more apt to give you something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I had a guy, I had a guy, I asked him, he was a pretty funny guy on my Facebook feed. He was a rapper. Like I'm not gonna say any names, but I asked him, I'm like, so when are you coming out with a new project, right? And he's like, Oh, here's this one and he drops me this link where like I can only hear 10 seconds of it before I got to buy it. Never heard of the guy before, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, why, why, why wouldn't you let your audience decide what it's worth? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree with that. Like, because, and there's been artists, like you have your nine inch nails, your radio heads that have like, you pick how much you want to pay for it. If you want to pay nothing, then you pay nothing. If you want to pay a hundred dollars, you pay a hundred dollars. And as far as new artists go, like what I've been doing is anytime I release new music, I give it away for free. It's, it's available on the website that I have. I have links for it and it's on all the streaming services just for, you know, accessibility. Cause it's a lot easier. Oh, I'm on Spotify or, or Apple music or whatever to where they can get it right away and people buy it. That's great. Like I've had people buy it on Google and iTunes and all that stuff. And that's, that's awesome. It's any, any dollar I make on that, like, I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting it. So it's like, okay, great. Well, that can right. help me buy some more plugins or whatever the hell I need to do. I think I agree with you. Cause what you're saying, like, say that rapper, no dude, like if I like the song, if you send me the song, when the song comes out, like I'll buy that shit. 
because it has value to it. I always, I will buy, um, I haven't bought CDs in a while, but I will buy vinyls. Like I'll buy the actual records of, of albums that I already have all over right, the place. Sweaters and hats. And yeah. Right, right. And so I think the part that I agreed with on your post was that, well, you really shouldn't, if you're making music to make money, you're in the wrong industry just for the music itself mm -hmm. it should be available and and if you and a lot of artists because i'm i i i talk to industry people a and r people management people that work you know for major labels and they're just like the key for anything is to build an audience whatever you have to do is you build an audience you figure out what that audience loves and then you stick to that and you, mm -hmm. and you just keep growing that audience. Mm -hmm. Like you can't, no one's entitled to anything. All these, even the, the biggest albums of last right. year, there were people stealing it left and right. It's not about that anymore. It's about how can you monetize what you're doing? You have to adjust to it. You can, you can talk now. I'm, I, got, I got to go through these. Um, there's been so many more comments on this since I even looked at it. So let me, let me, let me say this. There's a sense of entitlement that comes from both sides, right? from people like me and from people who expect to be paid for their art. And I'll sit here and admit that I'm probably the more entitled one out of those two. I don't really know. So here's who, here's who I am as a musician and here's what I've received from being a musician. I'm just a dude with a regular job who likes to go to a couple open mics. I live in the middle of nowhere, so there's not that many to go to. But, like, I've had people react to it. You know, I, I say a lot of shit that pisses a lot of people off, and I feel like maybe it's my downfall because I know that I make good music, right? I've had, I've had a couple of producers offer me, like, free studio time, and um, I haven't really taken them up on it. But what I've received out of music is I've, I've hyped people up with my rap music and I've kind of brought people close to tears with some of my more emotional acoustic stuff and I hate I hate even saying that like I'm here I'm here trying to um humble all these musicians and I hate even saying that in the efforts to do that but what I'm trying to get the point that I'm trying to get across is that those people's reactions was enough for me I was thrilled uh, it was worth you could have given me a million dollars and if i didn't get that reaction fuck it you know mm -hmm. i i mean i i understand i totally understand like your viewpoint and your and your premise of it but there are like when you look at the artists that do make money even i mean not even just through their own their own releases but you like i have buddies that are songwriters that they make their living as songwriters and they they write a song it gets shopped to people and then they and then th these songs end up getting released and that's how they make their living so if people when it, when you go to that the just to kind of cater more to your point that money is that's all in publishing rights and yeah there's a small royalty for sales and for mm -hmm. streams but the thing is we all know that streaming revenue is not that high at all like you can i have I have close to, yeah. uh, might yeah. have a little, little over a hundred thousand streams for my band, for my, my solo project. And mm -hmm. the money is not at all mm -hmm. equivalent to the time that I put in and the education that I spent, you know, learn, trying to learn how to record. I'm still learning how to record. You know, I think it's when you, when, whenever you say like art should not be like, you shouldn't have to pay for art. I think if I don't know who you are, <laughs> yeah. you, you shouldn't. That was a if, blanket term for sure. Sure, yeah. sure. But like, if I don't know, even if it's, a, if, if you're a painter or if you're, whatever you do, you can't just mm -hmm. expect people to pay for what you have. You have to offer them something that they want, that there's a demand for. You can't open a store mm -hmm. and just start selling stupid yeah. shit and be like, well, you people need to come in and buy this. You need to sell what people want. For me, what you had mentioned it earlier, it's the pay what you want structure. And I think that's, that's where everybody would, it, it's like, put your money where your mouth is. If you're putting out music that is good enough, if, you're, if you have a great song, mm -hmm. there is going to be a way that you can monetize it. Even if you put it on YouTube and then you're getting millions of views and there's ad revenue on that. There's ways to monetize it, but it shouldn't just be like, mm -hmm. well, I, you need to pay for this. And that's, that's where I think me as a musician, like I'm, I'm a full-time musician, like that's what I do. COVID has kind of fucked that up a little bit, but uh, that's how I make my- Yeah, my, bro, I know. 
Yeah. But like I've never been like, oh well And I'm sorry for that, dude. I don't mean to I don't mean to offend anybody. Like I mean I guess I do, but like only the people that don't look deeper into it. Like you as somebody that looks deeper into it, I can just tell you personally that like I know it's fucking hard. Yeah. And like I wish you the best of luck and like I'll fucking buy some of your merch, dude. Just send me a fucking link. Like fucking I really didn't like I just did it to weed out dickheads. Like I didn't write it for the good people. I know a lot of good people that are struggling bad out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I didn't. But anyway, man, yeah, yeah. I I I I looked at it like the overall point I totally understand. And I didn't me personally, because the the first thing I said on there was, listen, whatever your opinion is, like, I know that people pay for what I do. So I, I don't, I, I understand right. your opinion. I don't care. And if it's like musicians, you, you have to have a thick skin as a musician and you posting that, if that irritates you that much, like you need right. to get a little bit more skin in the game. That's my opinion. Like you need, you, yeah. you need, to, you need to be yeah. ready. Like, I mean, just in the world in general. Yeah, I would agree with that. And I think I made an, like, well, just because you release something, it doesn't mean that you should be entitled to anything. Like you, the, you, you do not dictate the market. The, the, the market will dictate if what you're doing is worth anything. Like I'm doing like songwriting mm-hmm. stuff. Now I'm writing some pop stuff and recording pop stuff that I would never release on my own like it's just stuff that is going to management companies my publisher right like it's not stuff that i would ever put out under my name like me performing it but if somebody else picks it up then great okay. then i then i then that's, i get some money cool. yeah but i don't i don't expect anything and i think you you kind of alluded to it to where if you go into this not expecting anything that's when things are going to come mm-hmm. to you but if you go into this saying like i'm i'm good and i i put all this time in and And I get that. Like we've all spent, I've spent decades trying to learn my instruments and trying to learn recording and trying to learn, learn songwriting just because I have 20 years in doesn't mean that, uh, that, that I should be able to sell my, uh, a five song EP for 20 bucks and be like, here, it's worth 20 bucks. It's like, that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, let me just try and make one last point. I don't really have a place to a lot of fucking time on this today, man. But, um, I'm not going to just cut you right off, but, um, so I say, I know it's hard. Right. And all I really ask of musicians is just that they, they keep a good attitude about it and that they don't take it being so hard out on their audience. This shit is hard because it should be, this is making music for a living is the best job anyone could ever fucking ask for, except for maybe being an athlete or an actor. You know, there's a reason why everybody in their brother is trying to do this shit. There's a slim chance of you making it. And if you don't have a safety net, it's going to be fucking awful for you. These are all things that you should know beforehand and that you shouldn't take out on your audience, which is what I've, what I see a lot of people do. And that's really why I made that post on top of just trying to be a dick just because <laughs> fucking it's been a day. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah. And like, I mean, I firmly agree with that. I 100% agree with that. And then just to close it out, what you said at the end of this, nobody can argue this. They said, you said, I guess to wrap this up, I'll just say that money fucks art and it does. And anyone that, that will, that will say that that's wrong. No. Talk to anyone who's been in a signed band or a touring band or got screwed by a label, even though they had a great record. No money is money yeah, screws yeah. art and you have to keep, you have to keep fighting forward if you really want it, but you have to be smart. Like I don't just put mm-hmm. all my eggs in me- like everything I do is directly tied to the music industry, but that's, that also includes working at a venue. So I'm not just doing music 100% full time. I'm doing the music side at a venue, but uh-huh. I have other, I have other ways that money comes in. You're 100% right with that and and this is why i I, I, this is why i wanted to do uh as face to face as we can because people get so fucking bent out of shape on stuff Mm -hmm. and they they don't just take the time to sit and actually listen and be like oh i guess that does make sense you know so i definitely i appreciate you hopping on this because it i think it's going to clear a lot of shit up so i'll like i'll link this video into that post so hopefully people can chill out a little bit (laughs) <laughs> getting getting into better life for a second so that people don't flip out and act like I'm trying to hide my identity with my bad opinion or anything. I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> but anyway, man, yeah, it's been nice. It's been it's been real. This is it's been a good conversation. It's yeah. good to see that there are people out there that know how to read past the second fucking sentence and keep their cool when they disagree with the opinion. Absolutely. We need more of that. We need way more of that just across the board. Awesome, Matt. Well, uh, right. take care. I hope your day gets a little bit better. I know you're having a shitty day, so right. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll talk soon. All right, man. Take care. All right, man. Peace out.